Hi, it's me. This is, will be my last camera video for a while. Um, so yes, uh, there has been something in the back of my mind for a while that I felt like just bringing up now because of, um, what, uh, a channel of a person I'm subscribed to did a video and she said that, um, Romeo and Juliet was a satire. I've heard this said before by a lot of, um, antis, you know, Twilight antis, you know, saying it was a satire. And, um, right, and that Stephanie Meyer was dumb, is dumb to think it's tragedy. And, um, I wanted to address this and ask, is there really any definitive proof that it was a satire? and not a tragedy, because, you know, there are a million interpretations of Shakespeare and trying to figure out who he was through it, through his plays. You know, he was a liberal, he was a reactionary, he was feminist, he was a misogynist, he was ahead of his time, he was completely of his time, just very clever, he um, was gay, he was bisexual, you know, whatever. So, um... It just annoys me a little bit that these people are saying with absolute certainty that it's a satire. You know, unless Shakespeare left a letter lying around to, you know, a friend he had saying, man, this play, you know, Romeo and Juliet is going to have a roar in the aisles. Man, this shit is funny. <laughs> you know, unless, unless he wrote that for sure, how can we know definitively that it's a tragedy? Why well, I'm saying this, if obviously, if you haven't guessed it already, I do think it's a tragedy. Um, what leads me to believe that is because of um, the world that uh, Romeo and Juliet exists in, in this, you know, the politics of it, that that were involved because of these two, these two feuding families Romeo and Juliet were unable to be with one another and pursue a relationship because their families were feuding. So that kind of causes me to believe it's tragic. And uh, not really just funny. Like, yeah, killing yourself for, you know, committing suicide isn't romantic. It's depressing and tragic sometimes. It can be stupid. It really depends on the circumstances for how, excuse me, how dumb or funny it can be, you know, depending on. And also what leads me to believe that it is a tragedy is because it's called the tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. It isn't called Romeo and Juliet. The official title is the tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. So... I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't feel like it's satire, and I think it's a tragedy. And I think I have a pretty good understanding of Shakespeare, like not just the high school Shakespeare. Like, most people's first exposure to Shakespeare is Romeo and Juliet, then they usually read a history and a tragedy and one of his comedies in, in high school. Like, I read... Julius Caesar, does that count as a history or is that a tragedy? I don't know. Whatever, I, it's kind of boring, I think. I think that play is pretty damn boring. Um, then I read Hamlet and then Midsummer, and that was my tragedy and uh, comedy. And then uh, in uh, college, I took a Shakespeare class, and I still have most of my books from from that. I read um, Midsummer and As You Like It. I also read uh, Much Ado, but I didn't keep that book because I don't like that play that much, and I knew I wasn't going to read it again. And then I read um, A History, one of the Henry plays, and then I read Hamlet again, and then Othello, and then Macbeth. I'm not a very big fan of Hamlet, mostly because that whiny little emo kid annoys the crap out of me. It's like, just shut the fuck up and kill your uncle! <laughs> so, yeah. 
so right. It, it's not, I think I have a better than average understanding of Shakespeare. And, you know, of course, I've seen a lot of other, of his, of, you know, movies based on his books. And I've, I even uh, was in a production of Taming of the Shrew in high school. I played a minor role. The the guy who played uh, Perturcio was really funny. Um, John. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Okay, so high school stuff is over with. Um, so yeah, I do. I do think it's it's a tragedy, and um, unless you know when I die and I go to the wherever, the beyond, and, you know, I see Shakespeare, it'll probably be one of the first things I ask him. You know, was, was, you know, Romeo and Juliet a satire? If he says, yep, satire, then I'll be like, okay, so it was satire, and I was wrong, and that's cool. But, you know, until I'm proved wrong beyond a shadow of doubt, yeah, I think it's tragedy and that it's sad. I don't think it's romantic. I don't think Romeo and Juliet is a standard to live anyone's love life by. But, you know, sad, not funny. Um, right. And, uh, I wish I had the Fuller's edition of these and not the ones I have because I like the footnotes. I hate No Fear Shakespeare, though. I hate that they do, you know, Shakespeare's words and then, you know, the translation on the other side. It's like, what the hell? Shakespeare is not another language. It is modern English. It is early modern English, but it is modern English, not old English. Old English is like Beowulf and cannot be read by somebody who doesn't understand Old English. Old English is like another language. And then there's Middle English, and that's Chaucer, which is pretty hard to understand, but uh, it's like, you know, Juan that April with the Shore Sota, the drop of March had pierced to the rota, and bothered every vein and swished liqueur, of which vertu on genre is the floor. And that's, you know, like describing spring, on that April with the Charnay Sota, April, April, you know, like, the sun is rising on April. It's talking about the spring, and that's, I think I already said, that is the start of the Canterbury Tales. So, yeah, it's saying the first, and the first 16 lines describe that it's getting nice and everybody is going on pilgrimages. And then modern English, early modern English, like, printed modern English started with Shakespeare. It is modern English, not old English. So don't be lazy and read Shakespeare, not the, you know, damn um, translations of Shakespeare. <sighs> Sorry, that, that's, my, that's my rant on, like, people dumbing down Shakespeare's language because, you know, it's, to me, it's, it's all about laziness. So, like, if you can't just read Shakespeare, then you're just lazy. I don't know. That's kind of my opinion on um, education in general, because I wasn't gifted with a high IQ, but I've had to work very hard for my intelligence. I just work hard, and that's why I'm smart, or a lot of people say I'm smart, so I guess I'm smart. Not because, you know, I was born that way. Okay, um, so, agree, disagree, whatever, Shakespeare totally was a satire. If you have a compelling argument, you may change my mind, but I don't think I'm dumb for thinking it's a tragedy, and that's what I feel about that. I guess I'm done. Upbeat is Zane.